Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a very different type of video for you guys. I did my nails and I showed you guys how I do my nails at home. So if you guys want to see, then just keep on watching. I'm going to include all the products that I used and it's super easy to follow. So hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed the cuticle eliminator and I just applied that to all of my nail beds. And I made sure to apply a generous amount and then I rub it in with my fingers and you want to let it sit on your nail beds for about 60 seconds for the product to fully work. And then I use my metal cuticle pusher. You want to be very careful with this step because I have cut myself before. So don't push too hard, but definitely push the cuticle back enough to where it's doing something. And then I use a paper towel to just wipe the rest of that product off. And then I grab my nail drill and I grab my sanding band bit. And I put it on the lowest setting. That's super important because you don't want to give yourself the ring of fire and drill off too much of your natural nail. I've definitely done that before. So I just go around my entire nail with the sanding band and I just very gently sand away the shiny layer of my nail and then after I do that I dust off whatever is on my nail bed because you want your nails to be as clean as possible before going in with the rest of your prep and I use a nail prep dehydrator this is super important especially when you're going in with press on nails because you want your nails to be super dehydrated so the glue sticks and lasts my nails literally last me up to a month and they don't come off until I take them off, which press on nails, I feel like that's really hard to achieve. And I think it's all because of how I prep my nails. So I just go in with my nail prep dehydrator and I just apply two coats to each of my nails. And you know that the nail prep dehydrator is working when the nail color of your nail like turns more white, if that makes sense. And this is the nail glue that I use. It's the nail bond and yk1 and i get it from amazon and this is the best nail glue that you could ever get it's kind of like super glue and then these are the press on nails that i've been using they kind of went viral on tiktok they're called the x coat tips and i get them on amazon as well pretty much every single product you see in this video i got off amazon and i love the french tip press ons because they just look flawless and it just takes no effort whatsoever. You don't have to apply it with nail polish. It's just already on there. And these are the ones I'm going to be using today. It's the shorter French tip style. And so here you see that I already selected which nail matches my nail bed best. You want it to go all the way from sidewall to sidewall. If you use a nail that's too big, it's going to pop off. And if you use a nail that's too small, it's also going to pop off. So you want to make sure you're using the exact size for your nail bed. So here I'm just showing you that it all fits perfectly. So now you just see me changing out the nail bit and I changed it to this different shaped one i don't really know what the different shape of the nail bits are called um, but this one has like a rounded pointier tip and i like this one for etching out the inside of the nail tips because you could just get in all of the corners and i pretty much just go up to the white line you don't want to go under the white line because or above the white line because then it'll take off too much um, you pretty much just want to do the part that's going to be on your natural nail if that makes sense so the lower half of the nail tip and I do that to every single nail tip and this part is super tedious and takes the longest and it's kind of the most annoying step if I'm being honest but trust me when I say that this step makes the biggest difference I feel like a lot of people don't do this step when it comes to press on nails they mainly do this for gel x nails but ever since I've been doing this, I feel like that's why they last super long. And I also do the top part of the nail, the lower part that goes to the cuticle. 
So now you just see me dusting off each individual nail and that is so when I go in with the nail prep dehydrator on the nail tips, there's no dust or anything to make the glue adhere less. So I just go in again with the nail prep dehydrator and I just put it on where I etched out the nails on each individual nail. And I feel like this is also a step that people don't do when they do press on nails, but it really helps the nail to adhere. And it's kind of tedious, but it promise it's worth it and it'll make the nails last way longer. And now I go in with the nail glue finally and I go in first on the nail tip and I grab a generous amount. And this nail glue is the best because it's never ever dried out on me because of the way that the cap um, goes on. So I just apply a generous amount to the bottom half of the nail. You just want to apply the nail glue to where it's going to sit on your nail. And then I grab an another dot of the nail glue to the top part because I feel like that's where there's like a bubble in the nail most of the time. And then I grab some nail glue and I put it on my natural nail as well. And I like doing the nail tip first because then the glue gets tacky while you're applying it to your nail. So by the time you go and grab the nail tip, it sticks like really, really, really easily. So how I do it is I apply it like Gel X nails. I do it at an angle and I first put it on the cuticle and then I apply pressure to the rest of the nail. And as you can see, there's like not really any nail bubbles. So I would say that's the hardest part with press on nails is making sure that you don't have any bubbles underneath where the glue is. But if you apply the glue evenly and apply pressure evenly, it's really hard to get nail bubbles, I feel like. So just trial and error, but eventually you'll get it. And I just repeat this step for every single nail and... Yeah, I feel like it's pretty straightforward, pretty straight to the point. And I feel like the more you do it, the easier it gets. And I've been doing this method for probably around three or four months now. I pretty much stopped doing Gel X nails completely once I discovered that press on nails can last just as long. So now the nails are on, I just go in with a nail file and I just file down the part that was stuck to the nail kit, like the little ridge that it had. And I just file them square. And I feel like they're super sharp when you first put them on, but they kind of dull out uh, throughout the week. Um, and then I go in with this Builder Nail Gel and I also got this on Amazon. And when I read the reviews on the press-ons originally, they said that you need some sort of builder builder gel. Bu oh my god, I can't talk. Builder gel so that the white part doesn't chip off. So I just bought the builder gel when I bought the press-ons, and I have never had a problem with the white part chipping off. And I feel like the builder gel makes the nails pretty strong too. And yeah. And then I cure, I always cure the builder gel for about 60 to 90 seconds. And this is the finished nails. They look flawless and you would never believe that they're just press on nails just by looking at them. And these are my favorite way. This is my favorite way to do my nails. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.